A dramatic search for survivors ongoing tonight. A Russian missile hitting this residential building in Dnipro. 20 wounded, say officials, including children. President Zelensky releasing the video, calling it a terrorist attack. It comes with Ukraine escalating strikes over its border into Russia. Officials in the Russian region of Belgorod saying two more civilians killed by Ukrainian shelling. Ukraine also ramping up long-range missile strikes on Russian-occupied southern Ukraine, ahead of its counter-offensive. Explosions and smoke rising in videos circulating online. Uh, President Zelensky telling the Wall Street Journal his forces are now ready for that offensive, but warning it could come at a heavy cost. The aftermath of India's horrific three-train collision. More than a day later, search and rescue efforts have given way to recovery operations, as officials say they're unlikely to find any more survivors. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the crash site and met survivors in a nearby hospital. The nighttime accident led to chaotic scenes with rescue workers and locals climbing into the rail cars, some with cutting torches to free survivors. breaking news, a dangerous close call at sea. A Chinese warship nearly colliding with a U.S. destroyer near Taiwan. That's according to a Canadian report. That terrifying near miss captured on video obtained by Global News. The Chinese warship reportedly coming within 150 yards of hitting the American destroyer, the USS Chung Hoon. It happened during a rare joint mission between Canada and the U.S., it's just the latest in a series of provocative moves by the Chinese military. Overnight, there was that drug smuggling attempt. Uh, Israel seized something like $300,000 worth of drugs at its border with Egypt. Not an uncommon thing there, by the way. Uh, then later, they found that two Israeli soldiers who were at the border had been shot. It emerged that the person who had shot them was an Israeli, uh, sorry, an Egyptian border p patrolman or policeman who had crossed over. Uh, after that, that was about 9 a.m., something like 12 a.m., they found the assailant. There was an exchange of gunfire. He killed a third Israeli soldier and was shot himself. Work continues by the South Korean military to retrieve more of North Korea's space rocket vehicle, space launch vehicle dubbed the Cholima-1 rocket, which fell into the West Sea. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff says that on Friday it deployed the 3,200-ton Cheonghaejin submarine rescue ship to help bring up what's deemed to be the propellant part of the rocket. Divers will go into the water and tie ropes to parts of the wreckage. The military says the lifting of the rocket could take longer than the initial goal of Saturday. Uganda says it has taken back control of its military base that was recently captured by al-Shabaab militants in Somalia. On the 26th of May, al-Shabaab terror group fighters claimed to have been about 800 in number, attacked and overran the Buuola Maria forward operating base manned by Ugandan peacekeepers under the African Union transition mission in Somalia. The Ugandan army says more than 100 militants were killed during the fight to reclaim the facility, but confirms that it also suffered some casualties. Police in KwaZulu Natal are continuing their search for the gunman responsible for a mass shooting at the Cleveland's hospital that left seven dead and two others in hospital. Uh, when detectives started the investigation and began questioning people, they established that altogether there was 12 people in the room. So from nine it went up to 12. Uh, we also established that there was three that were injured and taken into hospital one of whom was the, the actual owner of the room. It's alleged that during the shooting, he jumped from the second floor through the window and he was seriously injured.
China is drilling into the Earth's crust, digging a 32,808 feet hole. Once done, it'll be the country's deepest ever borehole. The drilling is happening in the Tarim Basin, located in China's oil-rich Xinjiang region. In 2021, Chinese President Xi Jinping talked about deep earth exploration, pushing for advancement in this field. This expedition is a step towards that. Not just that, it'll help China unearth rich minerals and even energy resources. On top of that, it could also help evaluate risks of disasters, like earthquakes or even volcanic eruptions.